guys, how's it going? Um, the day has finally come. I finally get to skate my 40 breeder and get it ready for my sorority. So I thought I would bring you guys along on this adventure um, so you can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like and the progress. So I actually have a giant bag that you guys are not able to see full of these little bags of Fluval Stratum that Kelly Foreman actually gave to us last year in Chicago after her Berkeley Bell and Jenna P were finished with their aquascaping contest. So um, it was a bunch of stratum that she didn't want, didn't need, whatever. Um, so she gave it to us to use at our discretion and I'm so glad that we held on to it because I'm actually going to be able to use this in here. It's going to work great, hopefully. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I've also got a nice sponge filter in here because you guys know I am team sponge filter. So I'm going to actually go ahead and pop the top off of this. And, um, yeah, let's get started. See what happens. See what it looks like. Uh, when it's finally finished, final product. And this stuff is quite dirty because it's been sitting on our porch outside um, actually since last year, so I probably should have rinsed it, but I didn't, and I think I'm actually going to have to take some of these down and rinse them off. Some of them, unfortunately, are quite grimy. you guys can actually see but what I'm trying to do is actually stack a little bit so that everything kind of goes at an uphill grade um, but it doesn't look like I may have enough of the stratum to do this um, at least not the way I'm envisioning it so what I'm gonna do is probably change things up just a little bit so that it's still going to be really nice looking uh, and then I if I hit if I have to add any kind of substrate sand, um, I can, because obviously this is going to need to run for a little bit before I can get my ladies in here. So we'll see what we can get going. So actually, I'm, and I'm actually going to pop some of these open and actually just pour that substrate in over everything else. I think I should be good. These bags are quite grimy, but it's okay.
think this might actually work out the way I want. What I'm trying to do is give it just a little bit of a river feel right down the middle, the center part of the tank, and then I will add, um, you know, some rocks and things to kind of look like, make it look like it's a natural riverbed. And this is actually working quite well. I absolutely love when a vision comes to life. that I have right now we all know sometimes those things can change and as I add plants and water I'm sure things will move and frustrate me and I will have to get back in here um, while it's wet uh, and try to fix it but I think as of right now I could probably start grabbing some plants and getting them in here to kind of see what it looks like. And I do still have one more bag of that stratum that I can unzip and add more if I need to. So I am actually going to go and grab those plants. I'm going to wash my hands first because that stratum is um, very gross. But I'm going to go and grab those plants and I will be right back and you guys can watch me add plants to the tank. Okay, I am back with just a small start of the plants that I am going to put in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these in, go grab some more, get those in, and then hopefully we will be ready for water. Hopefully.
beautiful dwarf lily from the aquarium co-op. They told me dwarf, but this is actually, I actually had to split the bulb in half because this thing is just gigantic. cars going by. I grabbed a few more plants. Um, really all I have in here is that dwarf lily, some bulbitis, um, I believe a java fern, and there's one more in here that came from Kelly Foreman. I don't remember what it's called. Um, however, we're going to go ahead and get these guys in the tank, and then hopefully it will be ready for water. my hands again and then I can set up this air pump get it hooked to the sponge filter and hopefully get some water in it so I will be back again let's go ahead and get my air pump which I'm hoping works because I did find it down in the basement in the fish room so hopefully it works I'll go ahead and get that hooked up um, it is a two port pump so I'm going to have to tee it off no big deal um, and then hopefully I will be able to get this tank filled and start that process.
Okay, I have all of that hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the python hooked up to the sink downstairs, get that wound up here, and hopefully get this filled up on my own because I am by myself, so this may be a little bit tricky, but let's see how it works. Okay, I did have to start this process by myself. Not a big deal, it was actually way easier than I thought it would be. Um, so we are now filling up. And unfortunately, the substrate is moving all over the place, so I'm going to have to readjust some things. Not a big deal because I'm not totally done adding plants. I just want to get water into it. So we'll go ahead and let that fill up, and I will be back with you guys to give you a close-up when it's done. Never mind. I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, hopefully, um, it does have water in it, and I do have an air pump hooked up to it. However, I'm not getting any bubbles out of the sponge filter, so I am going to have to figure out what in the world is going on there um, because I don't think we have any other air pumps at the moment. So, Fingers crossed that I can figure out what's going on and I can get this thing running. Um, I do have it teed off because, like I said, it is a two-port pump. Um, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it and maybe it just... Is old enough now that it, it's not able to push air through both of those pumps I don't know um, but I am going to see if I can figure that out and then I should be back to you guys with a final update on what it looks like hopefully I can get the water cleared up and you can see so I'll be back okay so as you can see I finally have the 40 planted and up and running it does have two sponge filters, uh, one in each of the back corners there. And my next step is going to be to get a light so that everybody can see everything just a little bit better and, you know, so that I can see the fish. But it is up and running and hopefully my next update will be a video of my sorority chilling out in there and enjoying their lives. So stay tuned.